How's it going, everybody? I am back in Fallout 4, and this is actually going to be a shooting range at Croup Manor. And so, it's not really a whole lot of building structures, but really decoration and stuff, so I don't really cut out a whole lot, um, just a few things, but um, it's mainly just straight building, and then a small tour at the end. But... All I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out exactly where I wanted this um, junk fence. Uh, it's in the the uh, mod Aslam's Junk Wall pack, and it's a really good mod. Adds tons of junk walls that I use pretty frequently because uh, Bethesda doesn't have any super cool ones like Aslam's been able to make. So thankfully, Aslam has made some awesome looking things and I make use of a lot of those today. Oh, well, not a lot, but a few of them and I've made use of a lot of them in this settlement uh, on the junk wall around the outside and stuff like that. So um, pretty much I wanted to have a shooting range. So I, mm, someone suggested it. I'm not 100% certain who it was and I'm sorry if you if you did. If you were the one that suggested it, uh, I apologize. I should have looked it up, but I've got a lot of comments on all of my videos now. Uh, you guys are super active, which is awesome. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys commenting on my videos and letting me know what you think of my builds, giving me ideas for my builds, talking to each other about Fallout, about anything that you guys are talking about. I love seeing like activity on my videos, um, all of the feedback, all of the conversations that you guys are having. Um, it feels kind of cool to have people talking about something that I've done, and not even just that, but um, having conversations about things, and it was like through my videos. Uh, you guys otherwise probably wouldn't be having those conversations. But for this shooting range, I wanted it to be, I mean, just a bunch of stuff for people to shoot. And I had those signs up at first, uh, the two standing things. I ended up getting rid of them even though that one is meant for a shooting range, and they use it in the game as a shooting range. I end up picking mannequins mainly, uh, just because they're a little easier, I guess. So I just placed down some mannequins. Uh, I do end up placing a few more, so... Uh, if you do use these mannequins, make sure you pick the static ones, because... Um, you'll notice by the name it says Burnt Mannequin Static. Static means they stay in one spot, but be careful about shooting them and stuff because that is when some issues occur because if you shoot them enough, they kind of explode, but the game is still trying to make them stay in one spot. And it just... just doesn't work the way that you would hope. They kind of glitch out a little bit, but... It's not like a big deal. Uh, I just have it here for looks mainly. Uh, kind of like a training ground for some of the Minutemen. I put up some barriers as well to kind of block off the lower half of the place. Uh, I do try to make it like in any way safer. Uh, I try to add, I added that junk wall on the back because I uh, wanted there to be some protection on the back side of the like build because I don't want it to go straight to the wall. I don't want to block off all of this area, so I do add a couple junk walls and then I end up blocking off the path in front of the uh, shooting range because you know people are dumb and don't watch where they're going sometimes so I do block it off so people can't just walk out in front of it I probably could have added a thing about it now 
I wish that I kind of had added a like a chain link fence along the right side so that people would have to walk closer to the house. Uh, I still have to figure out what I want to do for crops. And then also I'm going to do some towers, I think. Uh, and then I left a gap on the junk wall, you guys probably noticed. And I'm going to... I'm going to be adding a uh, like a guard post over there. And right here, I'm just trying to make it... At first, I didn't think about adding a junk wall. Uh, I didn't really want to. I just wanted to put these signs up. Not block the driveway. But I end up blocking the driveway. I put all these signs directing people. And I noticed that these are floating, which is kind of not good. But this is obviously super dangerous still. I know that. It's really dangerous. But uh, I don't know. I'm just going to say that they tried to make it as safe as they could putting all these signs up if they get shot I think that that's kind of a natural selection <laughs> or unnatural selection because someone else is shooting them <laughs> but eventually I do go to the junk fences and I grab just one of these like pile of trash and stuff like that um these ramshackle walls or whatever, I uh, try to move it over so that that side of that couch is kind of leaning up on top of something. Because as you can see, it is kind of floating a little bit. So I just move it down a little bit, and then it doesn't look quite like it's floating. And then with this area, I probably could have used that wall that I just had. It filled in the rest of that space pretty well, but I end up going and... Uh, I'm looking around, I end up finding this one with the oven and the refrigerator and stuff. And so I just try to line it up on that right side so that it's filling in that gap. And it is clipping a little bit, so I end up moving it back when I finally get it on the right side. Move it back a little bit. Make sure it's not clipping too far on the left uh, between that table and that uh, box and then on this other side I end up putting some more junk walls that kind of lead people more towards that overhang rather than letting them just immediately turn right just to make it a little bit safer but over here I end up placing down uh, In the crafting, so this is from makeshift furniture. If you go to the crafting section, oh well, apparently I'm gonna look through this first. Under makeshift furniture, they've got. Okay, I guess I didn't use the ones that I thought I did. So under makeshift furniture, still uh, under tables, you can find some like handmade tables by um, the mod dev, and he decorated them, or they decorated them and added some weapon ones and I know that there's like a coffee pot on the bottom of that one that's glitching out but uh it's okay what I end up doing though here is somebody mentioned a while back that I should do my own weapon workbench or something like that and so that's what I end up doing here uh I grab just a steamer trunk the it's the vault 111 one i tend to use that one because that's the vault that i think is the most accessible for me to steal things from <laughs> so that's the one that i typically use and then i didn't know what to do on the other side i ended up putting a chair and i tried to like get it at the same height and then I back out and I backed out there and I looked at stools and then I was like a stool would probably look better so I just line that up 
And then I just walk to the left, because it'll be around the same height. And if I have to adjust it, I'll just place anywhere, or use place anywhere to move it down a little bit later. Uh, but I end up not having to. Uh, it ends up fitting okay. I don't know why I thought I would use something so big right there a second ago. But ends up being all right. Um, I just kind of place that where it's like right on the edge of the stool because actually I can sit on the stool. I did like just messing around a couple times uh, while I was decorating and me not trying to make a terrible shape out of duct tape. I go ahead and place down a bunch of junk on this table Got a wrench, blowtorch. I looked at the other table, kind of see what kind of things he had. But for the most part, I, I just build off of what I think would kind of be on a workbench. That one just clips through the wood, which is kind of obnoxious. Um, I realize that some of this stuff, it doesn't really make sense. But adhesive and some tools and stuff that makes sense to me and then just some wiring and stuff I placed down a couple things circuitry because you know laser weapons and stuff laser and plasma fiber optics fiberglass uh, I just even though that those uh, aren't necessarily something that you would use uh, I place them down anyway just because they look like, like wiring and stuff like that. And then springs and stuff that would be useful. And then definitely some of these generic mod crates because those are probably some of the best things. And then boxes, boxes of spare parts. Uh, I don't remember if I placed that down. I do, apparently. Those are everywhere in the game, so, like, every workbench that you find randomly in the game will almost always have a makeshift battery for some reason, so that's the reason I placed that. And then just loads of ammunition. Because, you know, there's a shooting range right there. And then outside of the decker, or outside of the building here, uh, oh yeah, and then also with, uh, I think this is part of Workshop Decoration Pack by Aslam. He's got a bunch of like boxes that you can get with uh like ammunition and stuff like that. Uh he's got a couple other things that I don't use here, but that are really really cool. I'd highly suggest using any of Aslam's mods. Aslam's mods are awesome. Uh if you guys uh want to know the mods that I use, I made a video a while back that shows all of those, but here's the finished build. I guess I didn't show you guys me building that little junk wall on the right side, but just got a couple workbenches and stuff for people out here to, you know, work on their weapons. I put down a laser pistol. Uh, I use a mod to make that static. It's a really useful mod. You can do that to pretty much anything. Mannequins, uh, the signs that uh, stand up and stuff. But right here, I think that this is a pretty cool looking shooting range like I said I probably should have added a I think a chain link fence on that right side to kind of force people to walk closer to the house rather than uh, than being able to walk in front of the shooting range at all but I'm not like too worried about it and I realize that this probably isn't the safest thing as well I know that Bullets will probably just go right through that in real life, but they don't in the game. So, uh, I didn't really know what else to put. I probably could have put a metal wall, but I just like how scrappy that one looks. But let me know what you guys think of this build. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see here at Group Manor. And subscribe if you're new. Make sure you guys share my videos and stuff like that. We're past 600 subs now. And thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.